has just been named the world's best club. So what exactly is it that sets this Manchester venue apart from the competition? I love Sankey's because it's a fantastic atmosphere. Everyone's really friendly. Manchester's got all the best music. I like Sankey's because it's sexy. It's such an amazing place. I wish I lived in Sankey's. More than a thousand clubbers can fit into the venue, making it pretty small for a club with such a big reputation. Sankey's has had to close down twice since it first opened in 1994. It opened in its current incarnation four years ago. One of the club's regular DJs is Greg Vickers. He's a familiar face in the big international clubs. He moved to Manchester 10 years ago, drawn mainly by the Sankey's legend. It's raw. It's got low ceilings in the place. You know, you can touch the ceiling. It's, it's, uh, it, that creates an atmosphere. You know, it's hot, it's steamy. It's kind of naughty, you know. It's like it shouldn't really be here. It's, um, it, it, I don't know, it's addictive. Sankey's is tucked away in a former factory building in Ancoats, East Manchester. The city has some 500,000 residents and huge musical credentials. In the 1980s and 90s, it spawned the landmark Factory Records, as well as some seminal bands from Joy Division to New Order, The Smiths, and of course, Brit Popper's Oasis. Manchester was long considered England's music capital, and the thriving club scene that gave rise to Sankey's is a byproduct of that. A lot of DJs who launched their careers in these hallowed walls went on to become superstars. DJ Mistress Defunk is currently one of the most sought after DJs in England. The Sankey's crowd are very musically educated, so they understand underground music, and the people that come here, it's their whole life. It's not full of posers or people that come here because it's fashionable. It's full of people that understand music. Once a year, DJ Mag publishes its list of the 100 best clubs in the world. This year's findings were based on a survey of 80,000 readers. Nine European clubs made the top 10 with Sankey's at the very top. It's unusual in the sense that it's one of these clubs that it has the best kind of people playing, but also a lot of the more commercial people playing, and it doesn't really sort of differentiate too much between the two. It's sort of saying there's room for everyone, it's very inclusive, which some of the cooler clubs might not be so open to. Not too cool, that's always a winning formula. No one understands that better than David Vincent, Sankey's owner and a former promoter for various world famous clubs. Sankey's is the crowning glory to an illustrious career. Sankey's is an amalgamation of all the best club experiences I've had around the world, namely in them cities, Peru, Sao Paulo, Ibiza, London, New York, you know. Sankey's outposts are due to open soon in New York and London. One day, there will be seven scattered across the globe. And for many, that's a lucky number.